Listen party. Listen party. Listen party. La, 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 la. Look, even my microphone has uh, a party, okay? Hello, Teresa. Hello. Good morning. This is, this is Clara's uh, Cinco de Mayo preview party. <laughs> <laughs> he, he previews parties three months in advance. <laughs> and Diane is already in the chat. Hi, Di. Hi, hi Diane. Oh, hi. Diane. Woo, vintage dope dealer, Donovan Collection. There he is, incredible moderator hey, for this party. Oh, wow. Oh, my goodness. He's amazing. Oh, yes. You've been <laughs> there. <laughs> Don, ha -ha. Don, Don, we'll yeah. tell you all about it. Maybe, Don, maybe we'll try to join. get you involved. <laughs> yeah, maybe we'll, maybe you'll join one of our parties one of these days. <laughs> Absolutely. Hold on. Why is my camera so high? Okay, this. Don, it's your loss that you don't know Diane. She's amazing. She is. <laughs> she's, she's a. She's another Boston girl. Boston. My sidekick. <laughs> my sidekick, Diane, is my sidekick. <laughs> <laughs> She's my Ethel to my Lucy. We love you, Diane. Hi, Jill. Don, you crack me up. Hi, Jill. Hi, 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 Koala. Hi, Kimberly. Hi, Snoop Doggy. Hi. Hey, Pam Henry. Hi. Hi Pam. Yeah, welcome, welcome. Oh, sorting with Samantha. We'll be talking about sorting with Samantha today as well. Incredible. We're going to be talking about Teresa's Listing 101. Trish Mastermind Classes. What are they about? What are they? Don't worry. I got small videos, okay? Short videos of minute and a half to give you a teaser, okay, about listing party. So you can make a decision. And, uh, you know, and today, who better to have than our incredible community ambassador and leader from listing party, Teresa Go! Yay! <laughs> Trish. Was that a pained concern on your face when Clara said we have a short video of your call? It was, <laughs> it was, it was, it was, I was thinking, oh my God, you guys, I don't know. We say? A, you never know what comes out of my mouth. Just, I never know what's going to come out of Dawn's mouth. Never mind just my mouth. <laughs> Ah, I, I don't go, don't worry. The content was better. Okay, good. <laughs> don't, Clara, don't. you get you get an A plus for for nailing a theme today. A plus. You totally. I thought I was la, 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 la. Fiesta, que fantástica, fantástica esta fiesta. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, my red hat with my red shirt was supposed to be my thing, but it's like. That's an everyday yeah, thing for you me. look boring next to I Clara. I do look boring. You do. Never mind me. They said I looked like I was being a hostage. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and yeah, now yeah. I do. I'll Wait, go with two hats. Camera. That'll make me. That'll make me more interesting. Oh I'm my lord! Mind. All right. Oh, I'm gonna change my microphones. And okay, Jesse, how can you hear me better now? No, nope. you are better the other way. The, per the previous. Okay, perfect. Perfect. What about now? Perfect. Perfect. Yay. All right. Perfect. <laughs> okay. So we got everything. What a session. We got a live session pack. Oh, uh, I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay. So <laughs> Don has, I'm here for the entertainment. We know. We know <laughs> Don. Don't forget to tip your waiters. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Vanessa. Hi, Tammy. Hi, 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 hi. Oh, awesome. I, I know, huh? Those are cool glasses. Hey, thank Crazy. you. Thank you. <laughs> hey, thank Vanessa. You, Give us a thumbs up and subscribe so you can get a reminder for our lives in the, wow, what an event. So let's talk about a little too. Let's, people, let's interview a little Teresa, okay? Because Teresa, you've been working with Amanda, literally, guys, I, I, Teresa and Amanda, okay? And, and then I show up, you know, and I'm the pretty face, you know, just <laughs> doing, a, 
<laughs> I think like a pretty face, you know, just having like a final decision or, or, or something, you know, because you guys have thought of this so well. So what would you say listing party means to you and for our community, Teresa? So it so yes, it's a, it's a project that we've been working on for quite a while now. And it's not just me. I just give my opinions. It's that Amanda has the real team behind the scenes, but I just, I have opinions and I share them, but it, it has turned into when we first started, when I first started doing pre party um, calls, I was really excited about the community's anticipation of what it could be. And now that we're probably three months into this, just what the community has done and, 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 you know, I'm getting testimonials from people and it's like, oh my gosh, like this has really changed people's life. And yeah. I know that one of those things I've been doing listing 101 every week for about a year and a half now. And that's, that's different, but it's morphed into the party thing. And there's a lot of the same people in there this week. We had, I think 33 people on the call, which is the most ever I've had on a one-on-one call. And it's the community. These are my peers. These are the people that I work with. And so some of these people have been on that call every single week for 18 months. And they hear yeah. me say the same thing over and over and over again. And they still show up. Yeah. <laughs> so, and then I think, you know, we have we have some sellers that are doing their own thing, which is what, you know, we've got consignment chats every Tuesday. So they're doing they consignment. We have um, Stuart that's doing his things every he does a different topic every Thursday. We have Star now doing. Um, oh, the, the crime. I know. I love crime the thing. show. Come on, list and then watch it. Come on. Who did it? What thought about that? We did it. You asked for it and we delivered. <laughs> and then of course the, the 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 one that is the the top of the list is the list the mastermind call every single day. If you're in Arizona, it happens at 7 a.m. If you're in California, it happens at 6 a.m. And if you're in Boston, you get to sleep until nine. But that okay. is true. <laughs> it starts at nine. There's no sleeping till nine. Come on now. You roll out of your bed. You turn on your camera. <laughs> that is not true. I know. Though this week, this week, it, that may have happened a couple of times. Uh, but don't, don't tell you're anyone. In a, you're in a different time zone. Oh, so anyways, yeah. So it, I think I think the mastermind has really kind of done something to the community that has brought it together because it's every single day and it's the same yeah. people. And it's like, so I'm, I'm loving the community aspect of it. I'm loving the fact that I can, I can um, chime in, you know, just sometimes I'll just pop in to see what's going on and you always learn something. It's like, what do you mean? What is this discogs? What yeah. is this? What is this new yeah. consignment software that you guys are using? Like, there's just always something that we can learn. Don just said in the, co in the comments, what time did you say you got up Trish? Question mark, question mark. <laughs> see, you, there are no secrets when you see these same people every day at 9 a.m., 7 a.m., whatever. There are no secrets. Nope. <laughs> I'm guessing you woke up late one of these days. <laughs> no. Okay. I just may have still had my pajamas on. <laughs> I love yes come with your pajamas people literally are and that's what it is you're not this is not being streamed or recorded into social media channels so states within list we own the content that's it listing party owns the content and we don't want to share that so you can come on your pajamas we have listers that are shipping in the meantime they're sweeping the floor uh it's just very different from being here on a chat, okay? Uh, we just watching three people. This is a big Zoom session. We're gonna show you shortly what is this about, okay? So you can have an idea. Uh, the best thing is that it's not centric. This is not about, yes, you know, was built by least perfectly, but it's not least perfectly content centric. And can you elaborate on that, Trish, especially with your mastermind class? Sure, I would say that maybe 25% is list perfectly centric. And that's usually when we talk about something specific. But like this week, we focused on shipping. So this week, we talked about using shipping profiles within eBay. We talked about different things that you can do in shipping. We talked about the global shipping program. We talked yeah. about international shipping. We talked about shipping direct, about then we talked about regional. Somebody, you know, we know that the regional A and B boxes are going away. And so we all found them on the um, post office and got them all sent to us. Everybody's at the same time going on to the 
the USPS website and getting those boxes sent because we can use them as regular boxes yeah. once we're no longer able to use them as regionals anymore. Yeah. So I say about 25% of what we talk about is list perfectly centric. Yep. But even within that, if, if we are all different levels of list perfectly within the mastermind. So some people are on the simple plan and they just cross post. Some of us, most of us are on the pro plan. And so we do something different. So we try to cover it all. We don't just, it's not. So it basically is for resellers at any level. Um, but people who take their business more seriously, I think you're yeah. in there to try to get better, to learn more. Okay. So, All right. Um, well, why don't we stop talking about it? And let me present a little. We're going to do a quick short, people, about what is... A, what does it look like to attend, okay, a daily mastermind class in listing party? Uh, Trish, can you see? But in, in other words, Vanessa Porta. Vanessa, <laughs> yes, I can see it. Trish All right, is, awesome. is going to hold her breath. Like, I am. <laughs> and eBay, yeah, that's it. And you, and yeah, well, those are my major ones. I'd love to get for that. Right, just so get when it. you call, just so you know, Pam's like um, her... <laughs> She's like, sorry, guys, my laptop is in update land, won't do anything. I'll go ahead with the pick. I'll be anonymous. <laughs> Pam, I will make sure your little, I will make sure that you, I'm going to do everyone's little name if I can. Um, so we can do another one in a few days, Pam, too, and try this is, it. So This isn't even about so listening party. Cool for a minute. I know yesterday we didn't really talk about, I just want everyone to real quickly tell me. Um, how their goals are going listing wise, because I met a woman yesterday who told me <clears throat> that she's a full-time reseller. Um, and she sells all she sells. This is great. All she sells is plus size dresses Wow, that mm. she thrifts from the bins. <laughs> Yay. There she is. Right, Alice. We're going to do another one. Everybody get ready. I got my bottle. All right, control command. <laughs> One, two, three, One, two, three. Oh, this is. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. I love it. Okay, we were trying to take a photo, like a group I photo, and, and Trish was a little bad at it. But I want to finish what I was saying in that clip. I met yep. a woman who all she sells is plus size dresses that she gets at the bins. And she told me that her job, she did, I mean, her goal, she didn't list any more than she did the year before. The only yeah. thing she changed is she went from listing within eBay to listing within list perfectly. And that she went up, her business went up 55% in one <laughs> year, wow. one year. She, she was great. Um, she actually, we spent um, the, whole, the whole night with her and then we invited her last night. She came again. So she was awesome. But listening to her and how List Perfectly changed her business model and that she made so much more money within listing, within List Perfectly. Yeah. And the only thing she changed was that one thing and going to yeah. different platforms. 55% is enormous yeah. in one year. <laughs> formatting your listings okay i know i know she's not with all due respect i know she's not using the simple plan okay for a no 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 she was a pro plan I user she was yep. Yep. Got by the percentage okay of return of investment that she's using the pro plan and that's a thing that it took us years with amanda trial and error to that silly formatted okay that you see that for professional format that we offer in the pro plan Literally, we put so much research. And this is buyer and reseller research. What would make the job easier for a reseller? And what's going to make a buyer buy faster? What, what, what do I need to do on that listing? So that buyer reads it at least, okay, three, four bullet points, bullet points, okay, and then goes to buy it now. So that's something that 
we we took reselling to a science with Amanda, uh, measuring carefully what works and what not. And this is not measuring profit for investors, measuring profit for a marketing company, measuring profit for a sales campaign. OK, no, this is really measuring what's working for our community. And that's what allowed us to really uh, understand okay, the power of helping because it's mind blowing. It's literally, it is true what these people are saying is yes, it does grow. Just one channel, your business will grow. Six, what is it? 50, 60%. That's just insane. Right. Well, and she, and she, and she so was so managing, interested. Managing yeah. inventory better. Yeah. You're saving time. All right. You, uh, maybe she has different eBay stores. Maybe she does. And then she's just taking advantage of the professional formatting, word alerts, uh, anything like the customizations that we offer for eBay. So it is just breaking a, a, con a misconception that lists perfectly will help you if you cross post. No, you can stay in the same channel and attend a listing party and just start seeing how you're going to grow your eBay champ, your eBay store or stores. Right. And she only has one store and she is a full-time, she still has a full-time job, but wow. she does outside sales. So she said to me, so there are lots of times when she does both and she'll be in her car. So she uses the um, desktop app, you know, the um, yep. mobile version on through the browser. So yep. which she loves, she was great. And I got to be honest, it was, it was awesome to hear from somebody who had real numbers, real numbers from the Ooh. year before to real numbers th this past year. She already had right. done them for this past year. And that was great. And I also liked the fact that we're, it was post pandemic, those two numbers. Oh. So we don't have the pandemic numbers involved because everybody knows those are skewed. Yeah. So, you know, it was really, it was, she was a great, and she was hysterically funny. I mean, she was, <laughs> so we might want to have her on sometime. She was great. That's just amazing. Um, what would you say to someone that has least perfectly and has not created um, maybe a profile, has not attended a mastermind class? in the what would you say to them and i'm a trish i already i'm selling good okay i have too many sales what would you say wait I, you what is wrong with you clara don't you listen to anybody <laughs> okay <laughs> i didn't say that but but i would say i, I didn't say, say that i was teresa cox okay yeah, number it wasn't me what I was her hair say, hair, instagram numbers kick okay <laughs> i would say that is unreal that you're doing that well, that you have too much. Would you come in and teach us how to do more? There you go. That is not what I would say. Um, I do think go. that uh, <laughs> Vanessa wrote, you're missing out if you're not there. Thank you, Vanessa. Um, I do think that having a, a group of like-minded people, even though we don't sell the thing, same thing, even though we all have different problems, even though we all we all want to do better, and we're all trying to take our business to the next level. And that is a very, very powerful thing when you have 20 or so people of the yeah. same like mind to talk about things. And it has been really great. It has been, it's been a full month, I think, right now. I think, Teresa, am I at week yeah. four? Yeah. I think. Um, and I said that I would do it for a month and then I would decide. So we are going to keep going. We're going to keep doing it. Um I'm not going to promise I'll be there every day, but I will do my best. <laughs> but we've been doing, I've only missed a handful and that was only because I was like on an airplane or something. So um, it's been, it's been great. And I actually have enjoyed it more than I would have thought I would. So it's been awesome. Oh, that's incredible. So uh, let me just say, I have attended a handful, yeah. maybe three <laughs> in that month, but just listening to you and reading the comments, it's like, I need to like make this happen. I'm up. I need to just sit down on my computer and turn it on and get motivated. She cracks the whip on us. We have to be up working <laughs> on East Coast before the mastermind call. Okay. First of all, <laughs> listen. Pop, I think you're reading something today. Okay, Pam has the best comment for you, Pop. For Pop, listen, party. <laughs> So the one time I looked in the camera, I was like, why are you here? What do you want from this? Why are you here? Oh, yeah. Dawn does it all the time. Why are you here? What do you want? 
<laughs> but this morning, all they did was make fun of my accent all morning. You don't have no Boston accent. Because I said <laughs> last night we went to that we went to a meetup last night with Brian Burke from eBay. And yeah. last night, Brian said that the number one export from Colorado was cat pots. And cat so, pots? Cat wow. pots? <laughs> <laughs> I literally had to listen to that in my head twice before I knew you were talking about, oh, car parts. I get it now. And Trish, you're lucky that I went so many times to Rhode Island. Yeah, or Alaska. you would have no idea what I was because saying. The first time I went to, to, to Boston and Massachusetts, I was like, why do they hate the R so much? It's like I went to visit another country. And then you another think you go to New York. And then you go to New York and you think it's going to get better. No. It's worse. <laughs> so this morning I was like, car pots and sport pods. And so then they were making fun of the fact that car and cards are like the same. <laughs> I know Sandra Bullock on that movie. That is, are you a gnat? And then, the, hey, what? Nah. Then yeah. Are you a nah? You know? <laughs> I know Sandra is really good. Are you a narc? <laughs> are you a knack? Are you a knack? Are you a knack? <laughs> Definitely no R in that word. I, I, I know. Patty says she loved it. The mastermind, so good, okay, for her mental health. And this yeah. is about, you know, accountability. And, and Trish, what would you say is your secret sauce? What? When you go out there in these mastermind classes, what is it that you leave on the table every time another session that you're like, I'm going to make sure I leave this for my audience? Because I, I know you're very, very audience oriented. Yeah, I try to do what they want. We had a little, we've had a couple of polls where we've decided like what we were going to talk about subject wise for the next week. I do want everybody to come in and get something out of it. I don't want it to be, and what, what, Patricia just said, because I call her Patty, but now I know she wants to be called Patricia. So it <laughs> sometimes doesn't come out, but that's going to be um, hard to change. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to change. It comes out both. So Patricia <laughs> this morning talked about how some things she finds difficult because she's a, um, a touch OCD. Okay. And so, and then Vanessa popped in with what she does to help her with the listings because of that. And then yeah. somebody else did. So I try to think of myself as a facilitator more okay. than a dictator so i want people to oh look at what diane wrote clara i pronounce i promoted list perfectly on the becoming ebay call yesterday for ebay employees yay diane thank you diane um, love you but i try to think of myself as a facilitator not not the leader of the group not a dictator i just want to facilitate everybody getting something out of the group and i want us all to do better because and Clara has said this, and I agree, you know, it's like the ocean and all the boats can rise. And that I honestly believe that. And the better everybody does, we'll do that much better also. So, yay, Dawn. That's right. And thank now, you, sir. <laughs> well, Trish, you started Mastermind recently, but Teresa, yeah. ooh, let's go to, okay, people, this is it. Write this down, Listing 101 with Teresa Cox. These started, all right, out of okay, the listing party and then transition into listing party. So, Teresa, tell us a little about listing 101. Uh, I've never, I've never done it, or you know, again, I have too many sales. I'm doing great, you know. I, I, I did, I increased my sales 50 percent with list perfectly. Why should I attend listing listing 101? So I'll give you the spiel that I give every at the beginning of everything. We start on the hour. We end on the hour. I'm here to answer your questions. So if anybody's new and came with questions, we're going to take those first, put them in the chat, raise your hand. No, I have this whole spiel I do. But the idea is that you can be a newbie. You can be a seasoned seller. You can be somebody here. And generally, people will come with specific questions to ask. And no question is off the table. No questions off limits. We Sometimes we dive into eBay shipping because that's hard for a lot of Macari and Poshmark sellers to transition. Sometimes yeah. we talk about international. Sometimes we talk about how sharing goes on, on Poshmark. It's, it's whatever people want to talk about. But the um, the idea is that, you know, there's there's usually a, one or two new people um, on the call. And there's usually a lot of um, re regulars, as I call them. Uh, and we answer their questions. And what that usually does is once we get started, it morphs into 
it just free flows for whatever we end up talking about. And then I look down and it's almost the hour and I'm like, oh my gosh, I've been talking for an hour, but this is like my favorite hour. <laughs> it's, seriously, it's my favorite hour of the week because I get to hang out with my community, my people, the yeah. people that get us and, um, you know, teach a little bit about List Perfectly, which, you know, we all know that I, I use List Perfectly all day, every day I'm in there. And I actually, um, I, I didn't, I learned something, learned something about myself and learned something about List Perfectly um, yesterday yeah. that I was showing somebody how to um, uh, at, do a multi-quantity listing sale. And I was going through the way that I'd done it. And somebody said, oh, I just used the, um, I can't even think of the feature now, the update feature. Yeah. As soon as she said that, I went, oh, duh. Oh, like, oh because, duh. <laughs> because, we're, because I'm so used to doing it the way that we, you know, we get in our routine. Oh, you didn't have the update button. Remember when you started with us, it's hard because Amanda is throwing all these new features constantly. Right. But so then that's my point. So it's been around for a while. I love the update feature. I use it all the time when I'm doing inventory, but because I was in my rote routine of how I updated a listing manually, I didn't even think about it. And so I was like, okay, there are, I would have never, that would have never crossed my mind had I not had the water, water cooler chat with my peers. Yeah. Yeah. And that's a good thing. That's a very interesting thing. I do think of that the water cooler aspect of this, you know, what we do is so solitary. What we do is, is yes. singular. We're home alone. Most of us, you know, and we, other people think we're nuts. They're like, what do you do? Yeah. Why do you have all that stuff in your living room? You know, like, <laughs> you know, are you a hoarder? You know, all the things we've all heard. Um, oh, so man. being, having that water cooler kind of at, you know, kind of, camaraderie where somebody else can say this is what I do and here's why and you're like oh that's great and I also think I hate you all <laughs> <laughs> I hate you all <laughs> yeah, let me just say this it is what time in the morning 12 30 I the, when I after I have a few beers it gets way worse so don't go out with me at night if you don't want to hear it come out but anyway Our audience kimberly right wada kula <laughs> rude rude cam rude um and i told her today i had a present to send her and i said oh i have a present to send your address i'm keeping it now i'm keeping the present <laughs> She says, I love you. I know. Bears or bears? <laughs> Diane, why are they being mean to me? Diane sounds just like me. I, no, I know no gifty for me. I know. No, no, no gifty for you. Oh, I, 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 I love it. So um, I'm going to do, uh, Teresa, would you mind or would you like to add something? I, ca I can do a quick presentation of your listing 101. Go right ahead. All right. Let's do these. No, I'm nervous what she's going to show. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise. Have you cleared your cash? Which sounds, I know everybody hates no. that, but clearing your I cash. I forgot to do that. Yeah, that will do a myriad of things. I will tell you that I use my um, Express Editor to do exactly what you're doing all the time. And when I, and I can do it really, really fast. What I'll do is like, if I, if I, I'll pull up everything that's in box 200 and I want to change 20 things to box 100, I copy 100, copy, paste, say, copy, paste, copy, paste, copy. I mean, I just paste, 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 and it doesn't freeze. So um, try clearing your cache. And if it still freezes, um, and it's annoying because I tell people you need to you need to put in the work to get when the annoyance level is at a two, not when it's at a ten, <laughs> because the tech team um, knows how all the inner workings of this stuff works, and will know that oh yeah, when you're in that field and you're click click click, then this is something you know. <laughs> there you have it. I just want to say Diane popped in and said she can't help me because we really don't speak well, but we understand each other. Diane and I are out and we have like our own little language. And my husband and her husband are like, what are you people talking about? Oh, we're like, we're fine. We know we're good. That's funny. Yeah. So, so let me just 
say that that was very good advice I gave. <laughs> that was very good advice you gave. Because, as a, and this is what we talk about a lot on the call. It's like somebody will have an issue and it's like sometimes we can just say, oh, this is what you need to do. And sometimes it's like, well, try this. And if it doesn't work, then do a tech ticket. And I try to emphasize that, you know, calling tech support at least perfectly is nothing like calling your cable company because it's not going to take them four days to get back to you. You're not going to be on hold for an hour. Um, it's very, they're, and they're very good. They deal with this stuff all day long. They, it's probably not the first time they've seen it. So they can go, oh, that's what this is. You just have to go blah, blah, blah. And I liked my technical terms there. You know, they just do their magic wishy, wishy things in the background and it makes it work. And so, yeah, we do spend a lot of time reminding people of that kind of stuff. And one of the things that I really like about the um, Listing 101 is that we do have um, somebody from the tech team on the call every week. So that is, you know, more assets um, that List Perfectly gives us because I can't answer them. Or sometimes Pat will say, well, Teresa, have them do this. And I'm like, oh, I didn't know that. And so, you know, while, while I, I am a quote unquote super user, I don't have all the answers. And I love when I learn from the community and I love when Pat teaches us. And then we have somebody else. We have Celine that is right there, ready to pop in. Here's yeah. that video. Can I do this? Here's that video. Like she's really good too. So it is. It is an effort that Lifts Perfectly has put a lot of time and um, manpower into. And I don't think it's going to change because it's hugely successful, and we all love it. Yeah. And I would like to ask Teresa, since a lot of the people are here from Mastermind. I would like to ask you to come in maybe once a week I will. and answer some questions that I, cause I say all the time, I don't know the answer to that. <laughs> and a lot of times um, other people in the group will know, but it'd be great to have you there every once in a while, just to answer some very specific questions that are things because you are a super user, that mm -hmm. would be great. And Dawn though, I must give Dawn a, 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 a little Dawn thumbs up. He really is getting very technically oriented. And I'm always like, oh, Don, I'm very impressed. Yeah, Don, so, Don, 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 Don. Yeah. Wow. Don answered in a question of Vanessa Porta. I was like, oh, okay. I'm sorry yeah. I stand corrected. Right? I know, exactly. <laughs> you what Don says, okay. <laughs> <laughs> exactly right. Like, all these new features and easy ways to customize the LP extension, you know, and I do get everything, you know, we test so many things and I just forget what is live, what is not live. So it's nice to have the community uh, really helping each other. Speaking about the community helping each other, audience, did you know that you could host any of you, as long as you, right now, come on, bear with me. This is coming from my own money, okay, my, okay, okay, the new house that I could be buying, okay, or building listing party, okay, and that's what I chose, so be patient, bear with me right now, is for List Perfectly members at zero extra, okay, any plan, any plan, okay, but okay, bear with me. We're gonna make it available to everybody. In the meantime, it's free to all these perfectly members, and any least perfectly member, okay, can send a request for us to uh share uh your uh, to help you host a, a session. For example, here we go with Liz Hall. Can you see Liz Hall? Yes, ma'am. Beautiful, as well. Yeah. And those, those get dinged up real quick, I yeah. found. So it wasn't really like an affordable option to keep using those. You know, I did one time uh, buy one of those, uh, you know, it's, um, it's a couple of tripods and the, uh, something that goes across there. And then it's got a big roll of paper and you pull the paper down. Yep. Right. Uh, and I found that, but I didn't find that economical. I mean, I, it was, still was a lot of money. And I was mm -hmm. always staining that, no matter how careful I was to mm -hmm. move the item or to clean the item before, because I'm, I'm really talking about big, heavy items and almost impossible for me to move a 100 pound amplifier several different uh, ways and not get it dirty. And so that it was not economical, but um, and then again, like I said, I tried the plexiglass because I thought oh, I'll just be able to clean that off. But then I was scratching it all the time. Oh. Mm -hmm. And uh, and sometimes you could, you know, sometimes it wouldn't pick up the scratches, but sometimes it would. And 
Yeah, so I don't have a solution. I mean, right now I'm just using that white table and I'll just clean it when I can. I've ne I have never tried glass, but then again, I didn't want to put something on glass and break it. Ah, uh, <laughs> so there you go. Listing party, list halls, hosting, take stiller pictures. Uh, you know, don't forget that we buy with the eyes. That's why marketplaces are investing so much freaking money on 3D technology, video capacity, uh, augmented higher quality images. OK, so that's key. OK, like again, take pictures like that. there is no description and describe the item like there is no picture. So those are some of the things that you're going to be learning um, when you go. I, what are they saying, Trish? Oh, my God. <laughs> Mama, Mama Lori wrote, I'm in California. I really usually don't wear a bra till 9 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> there you have it. Be bra free. Be bra free, and free Mama be Lori. Party, you know. <laughs> Mama Lori, you just do this. From here up, no one knows. Yes, from no here up, exactly. <laughs> no need, okay? Just faces, okay? Hi, Mama Lori. You cr but you see, that's the difference, guys. You see, stream social media streaming, very different ambience. And this is the kind of camaraderie you're going to be fine on your peers so they can carry you on those days that nothing goes right, right? Hey, I in that clip them. earlier, I had on pajamas with a hood right? on, with little ears. So. We all have, we all, you gotta count that you will have a day where you're gonna miss the mailman, you're gonna get a return, all right? Whatever you search, okay, it's gonna be flawed, okay? And then on top of that, okay, your listings maybe were deleted or disappear, you know, in this vacuum that we all know exists sometimes, okay? Like, for example, some drafts getting deleted by mistake on even, okay? So, you know, things happen, okay? So this is where you need to have a support group. This is why we feel, we know you need it. We know you need it. Yep. It's definitely true. And it also, you know, maybe someone needs to run one on the West Coast. Yes. Maybe we should have one on the East Coast. Anyone would be available, but maybe we need a later one in the West Coast. So maybe one of you guys would like to get with Tiffany and have a have your own on the West Coast. So how do I do to submit? A, a, I want to host a party, a, Trish or Teresa. How do I do this? Teresa will take it. <laughs> <laughs> because when I wanted to host a party, I called Teresa and said, I really want to do mastermind. Can you set it up? So... So, okay. So here's the, here's the thing I'm going to have to, so there's a form that you can submit and you submit the form and you, you put in some information. I'm going to pull up my little cheat sheet here. What your title is. We ask you the date and the time, what time zone, because time zones are going to be the death of me still. So we ask you your time zone so we can make sure we got the right time. And then it goes into an automate and uh, automated, it goes into a system and then we do stuff on the back end and we check things and make sure we put it on the calendar and all that stuff. And then we, um, submit publish and then when we publish it it goes right there to that events page and can I where is that form okay where do I apply Teresa because literally not even myself okay and I I Tiffany Tiffany help okay Tiffany <laughs> I have, a, I have a direct link and I don't think that that's the right, I don't think that's the one that we have. Um, I have a direct link saved, which I don't know is that the one it's that's public or not. That's why I hesitate. So let me just look to see what I have. Uh, so me. don't forget today at 1 p.m. Uh, that I think it's Arizona, that's noon Pacific. It, this will be the time shows on oh. your local time. So don't forget today, flipping hippos, okay? Start rising, true crime and mm -hmm. at 1 p.m. noon California, 3 uh, Eastern Standard Time. Um, and Vintage Dope Dealer, who is Nikita, just said, I was just thinking about a West Coast one. Well, Nikita... Find someone. Yeah. Yay! Let's do that, Nikita. I'll come. I'll come for for a while and help to get it started. But I mean, I I get it. Why you guys don't want to be there every morning at six? <laughs> <laughs> yes, absolutely. We also have. Okay, what about talking? You know, more, there is a big misconception, and this is why listing party is so important. There is a misconception that list. Least perfect is for clothing. So here we go. Let's talk about hard goods, okay? And who better 
for this than our amazing friend Stuart White. Don't let it get confused, or confused with Franklin Hill Ventures. No, 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 no. The man is not Franklin Hill, okay? <laughs> Stuart White, okay? So here's Stuart for you. Oh, I was just going, yeah, I just missed the video games, really. I mean, they were, you know, I'm, I'm 55, and we got an Atari 2600, like, when I was... <laughs> <laughs> whatever whatever year that was, was really older. And the the story about that though is we begged and begged and begged for this atari and we were my my parents were pretty cheap and uh all we had was like this really old we were like one of the last families to get a color tv i mean we're talking about the yeah. 70s so um so we hooked wow. it up to the we hooked, we did get a color tv a couple years ago or a couple years before but it wasn't very big and i remember we hooked in this Atari that we got for Christmas. We never could get it to not be blurry, and we complained about it. My dad said, okay, we'll just take it back. So he took the Atari back, and we had it for, oh. you know, a couple of days. And oh. we, we eventually got one again later, I think. But that was our initial experience with the Atari. <laughs> I've I got to share this story. So, you know, we're both from Tennessee, um, and my parents were cheap as hell, too. Um, and uh, And so... I begged for an Atari for, for that year, because I'm 55 as well. So I begged for an Atari that year, and I got Super Pong instead. Oh. <laughs> My dad thought that was an acceptable compromise. Um, oh. and, uh, it was not. Oh, no, <laughs> no, no. Didn't it have, like, no. Didn't have like 16 versions of Pong on it? No, you yes. didn't have a, you yes. had like tennis, you had ping pong. That's amazing. But you see, there it goes. That that's just exactly the kind of camaraderie you're gonna find, okay? And stories like that, okay, where we talk about, you know, our experiences, our knowledge, and uh, different things that join us as a community. Um, also, if you do consignment, here is our oh, there is our friends from consignment chats, okay, and hang in there because. I'm not saying that consignment is for everybody, all right? But what I'm saying is that it's one of the tools that maybe you could have uh, in your uh, in your stash, okay, of things that you could do. So let's see, consignment chat. Here we go. Wow, Vanessa Porta is po popular again. <laughs> All right, here we go. I love these videos. Okay, window, and there is Vanessa. Can you see my window? Yes. Beautiful. And, you know, what do I say back? Uh, I don't know how it works yet. <laughs> you know, so, yeah. The consignment contract will help with that. Yeah. When you read their consignment contract. It gives you a nice structure and, and gives you a, to formulate your 30-second elevator speech with that. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. Thank hey, Liz. You. What's up, Liz? Always raise my hand. Uh, <laughs> I kind of agree with uh, uh, Vanessa, too. Like, it's something I wanted to kind of jump in the waters. And I think that was, like, such good advice, Libby, to, like, okay. just take some of your own stuff and make, like, a mock client, basically. Hmm. And then run through the process. So I'm going to I'm gonna definitely do that. Oh, you good. Let us know how it goes. I, I definitely recommend that as well. I started like you did, Vanessa, three years ago. I got sick of my job and quit and took a few months to figure out what I wanted to do with life. I don't have any kids, so I don't have the responsibilities, so I have a little grace that way. Um, but like Samantha, my husband's the breadwinner in the family. He likes it that way. Um, <laughs> Isn't it weird? So I, I made way more money than him for a long I, time. I quit my job. We eat peanut butter and jellies. And I like I'm building, and it's getting way better. But a year yep. ago, it was rough. And yes. she was so much happier. Okay. And wow. That's just amazing. Sorry with Samantha. Wow. What? That was so powerful. It's so true. Yes, I did took also a very big cut. I was on six digits 13 years ago when I partnered with Amanda. And it was very hard to explain to my family that I invested $5,000 on dirty clothing, AKA vintage clothing. My family was horrified. They couldn't believe that I turned down a banking position to buy dirty clothing and then list it on, <laughs> on eBay. <laughs> the dirty oh. part cracks me up. Well, 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 which one? No, wait, 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 which one? 
No, you calling it dirty clothing. That cracks That's me what up. My family said, what I, are you thinking? And vintage 13 years ago was not the big thing. And, uh, you know, it, it was bigger in like Japan, Germany, a lot in uh, Great Britain, Australia, uh, certain New York, LA. It wasn't like now, literally, you have. Even kids in Tennessee, okay, that they want to use right. vintage clothing because it's hip and trendy. Right. So that was very hard to explain to my family when I made that transition. And, and especially guys being a lawyer, working in banking, I have, they're like, why aren't you doing real estate? You're so good at that. Okay. And typical, I'm like, the future is software and <laughs> e commerce. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> and I love that nowadays my brother, even my sister-in-law and everybody, even my sister-in-law now sells online, okay? She has a Facebook store. My brother completely understood uh, uh, what we're doing. And he's. Uh, it's nice to have the family that is proud, you know, and saying, wow, you really did something that is helping many people. And like I said to my brother, this is just the beginning. We're going to, we want to change everything. We want to change with Amanda, make the listing process more intuitive. We want to keep growing listing party to the point that it's just really, it's a, it's a channel that belongs just to the resellers. And, uh, you know, of course we're building it, you know, with, again, with our money, Amanda and myself money, there is no investors, but we couldn't be more happy of this investment because we feel wholeheartedly in, to have this verification, Teresa is getting right now some testimonials and literally our tears with Amanda come because it's a verification of all the uh, hypotheses that we uh, put on, on uh, we consider with Amanda to motivate our community. I do think that it's, it's an interesting thing that we do and that not everybody understands it. And sorting with Samantha, Samantha just said that. Mm -hmm. um, that, you know, it's it's nice to have conversations with people who understand it. Yes. It's nice to have conversations because in general, you know, when you get those comments that people like you're stealing from the poor or especially if you're a clothing reseller, not so much things, but people think like you're taking, you know, and they don't understand how much clothing gets thrown away. They don't yes. understand what an integral part of the reuse, recycle, repurpose wheel we are. And I think that that is a, something that um, we don't discuss as much as we should maybe as a community is how yeah. much we, you know, we really do um, advertise, I mean, contribute to that part also. Yes, yes. We're creating, we're reactivating an economy. You got to understand the reality. This is listing party, but the reality is if we, we talk about reality a little, we have an economy after a pandemic. You know, this is just challenging. So uh, keeping each other motivated because through all these changes that we're going to go through the economy and the buyer uh, behavior, okay? It's going to be crucial that we stick together so we can grow the businesses in the right direction. And, and don't ever forget, if you're watching this and thinking, mm, I don't want to go to these events, I don't want people to know what I do, where I source, or, you know, remember, e-commerce, I promise you, I promise you, I wouldn't be doing this for free. I would be charging you right now. I would be, and I know you would pay extra. I know you would, but I want to, help you understand that if I did it, everybody can make it and I have no investors. It's absolutely Teresa, Trish. Look at Trish. She passed her business to her daughter. You know, it, it's growing in different directions. Teresa got her house. She bought a house right now. It's just e-commerce has been so generous and there is no need. I saw the woman, Teresa, selling a plastic glass of eBay for $30. That was just insane. But people <laughs> liked it. My mom, my mom always says that I'm going to go, I'm going to be arrested for robbery. <laughs> we love you, mom. I, 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 I love your mom used to say, that's not a job, Teresa. You guys are always <laughs> laughing. Oh God. If that means it's not a job, I'm in big trouble. <laughs> so no one's going to pay me anymore. If that's, if that's the requirement. I, I. Yes, Gary says I get criticized uh, all the time for doing, yeah, retail arbitrage. I, I had to understand the complete because I was like, really? Okay, explain me that. Okay, explain me that again because, okay, so 
you know, I mean, explain me how Walmart, okay, is getting <laughs> financially injured, okay? Uh, you know, and I understand, you know, this could be, this is opening a Pandora box, okay? But I think, Gary, that the fact that you're going maybe like Teresa on, uh, on the 1st of January, okay, early to Walmart to buy whatever Walmart has, okay? I want to remind you, I'm a former Target employee and i'm not kidding you back in the day after the holidays and this is true the wrapping papers or anything that couldn't be sold for less than a dollar or because it was not uh, profitable to store it or to transport it they would put it in the back alley and then the people would come and pick it and people that had reselling businesses that were brick and mortar and why are we complaining about that so just gary i want to put that in perspective because i've been doing this for a long time and i did look at the process very carefully because i'm a very good investor and i wanted to see you know what if there is abundance of inventory if we're hurting okay other segments of the um uh, of the uh of the economy uh by priving someone you know and it's not about rising prices it's about diversifying the sourcing and uh, giving buyers the opportunity and instead of buying from walmart to support a smaller seller because people out there they're willing to pay and walmart has enough more than enough inventory and sorry i get very passionate anybody no, no, no. Up. <laughs> and sometimes somebody like gary or somebody like me will be at a walmart and we'll get something on clearance and then we sell it for a lower price than walmart is selling it yeah so uh -huh. or I know not not Teresa. Teresa's not doing that. <laughs> Teresa's raising them prices. But or we sell it at a higher price, but we have packaged it. We have sent it to you. You don't have to use your own gas. You don't have to go to the store. It comes right to your house. There are a million things that retail arbitrage is wonderful for. And people who criticize it it to me it's the same thing as in the used clothing they don't understand the recycle they don't understand how this works because if we don't buy it in the end up in the trash can thank you and why are we criticizing the big multi-billion dollar corporation that is paying pennies why aren't we criticizing well, that or employees in walmart this is a, a classic okay remember in the old days that you could sell the best of walmart and people would buy it from ebay to fake that they were an employee and then they would steal the woods i was like i did not know that i never oh, knew that that never. no the things that i know. scam oh, I was like, no, what? No, no. i i'm like why 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 do we have to make money like that when so, we are here and, and we are in a capitalistic economy where people love buying buying is like almost a therapy and you know there's nothing about it. it's our economy is where we live yeah so exactly. um Gary, here's one, way, here's one way of looking at the at the walmart thing so on january 1st walmart will go usually january 1st 75 percent that you don't usually go um target will go 90 yeah. So I'm buying it at Walmart at 75% off their retail, feeding my small business because I can't go to Wonderland or whatever or Magnolia Home and, and go buy the buy 20 items and get that price for me. So they are feeding my small business that way, and I'm clearing their shelves off. And I, you know, it's it's a it's a um it's give a symbiotic relationship. It absolutely yeah. is. See, I can say symbiotic relationship, but I can't say carpets. Yeah. So just, <laughs> <laughs> just saying. So oh. I think, I mean, and, and, and I think that what Trish said was right. The people that, yeah. that complain or whatever about what we do um, don't understand it. And, and, you know, I say it all the time that I, I sell memories. And so, like, one, one of my favorite things to buy after Christmas is Christmas stockings. And so, and a lot of times I'll get one here and two, one here, whatever, but then I will price them up because I'm going for grandma that wants to buy, but that wants to have eight stockings that are the same and yeah. dang it, if one of her children didn't have another child and now I got to find the ninth one because next year I'm going to have a grandchild and she doesn't care if she's paying $30 for a $15 stocking. That's now, my I'm gonna, buyer. I'm going to put it in perspective. I could be your buyer too, guys, you know. Guys, I have deformative arthritis in my spine. 
You know how many times, you know, I hear friends, hey, let's go and get some stuff in Walmart. It's fun to go and shop in Walmart, right? And, and I'm like, I can't go. My back hurts. And literally, I don't mind buying from Teresa because she's- Club Red 97. <laughs> <laughs> She's your boss, Teresa. Just let her have the stuff, Teresa. Ay, ay, ay. But I do buy from, even from she Teresa. Bought, I, she bought a $200 jacket from me in the early days out of my store without asking for an offer. I had a best offer on it so that she could package it up and give it away in a mystery box to sellers. It's one of the things that I loved about List Perfectly in the early days is like they were buying from the community to give back to the community. And I just thought it was a genius campaign. So and we're going to do the same. That's why listing party. We're going to show you right now why you should be listing to listing party. I say the best for the best. The last for the best. Okay. Hold on. Bear with me. This is cross post. This one. Okay. Too many windows. Can you see the uh, LP catalog? Yep. Okay. Beautiful. With list perfectly use business and pro plan, you can cross post as many listings as you would like to any of the supported marketplaces. Now for this video demonstration, we are using List Perfectly's Pro Plan to go ahead and cross post to Instagram as well as Listing Party. Now, one thing to note is that when cross posting to Listing Party, uh, the behavior in which the cross post happens is a bit different than any of the other supported marketplaces. Now, typical behavior would be when the cross post begins, what happens is, is a new tab will open up for each listing that you've chosen as well as for each marketplace that you have chosen. And then in each of those tabs, all of your <laughs> listing details and images are copied into the listing form on that particular marketplace. Now, in this example, we're cross posting to Instagram as well as listing party. And what we see happening is, is we see 15 tabs open up for Instagram. And that's for each listing that we have chosen, but we don't see any tabs open up for listing party. The reason for this is, is when cross posting to listing party, there is no additional information that needs to be added into the listing form. There's no additional manual selections that need to be made. So as soon as you click cross post to listing party, the process is already done for you and your listing or listings will have been copied to listing party. Oh, they're sharing my listings. What I we're doing it. in this video <laughs> demonstration is we are just going through each of the listings that we have copied over to Instagram. We're reviewing each one to make sure uh, everything looks good. And then uh, we're gonna go ahead and publish the list. All right. I'm gonna just interrupt for one second before you guys talk about this and say that I've got to leave. I have an, a plane that is leaving in a couple hours, so I get to get All to the right, airport. Trish. So thank you, everybody. Thank I hope you you'll Trish for visiting. You. Bye. I, will, I hope that you guys will join the mastermind class sometime, even if it's only once. Come in, ask some questions, check it out. And also, if anyone's interested in doing one on the West Coast time, um, I'll be happy to help you. Just get in touch with me, Trish at listperfectly.com. And thanks, guys. Bye, Bye Crystal. Thank you. Thank you, Trish. Thank you, Trish. <laughs> that is awesome. For those of you, Trish is coming back from Colorado. Uh, they went with Doug Smith, Dana Crawford. Uh, they went to an incredible meetup session, uh, in, met with eBay executives, Evely's team, incredible uh, business, okay, that helps resellers with shipping and logistics and storage and and much more. I'm pretty sure I'm not defining well, please, but those are some of the things that they do, all right? Um, so again, you know, listing in listing, the reason that we built, okay, listing party in the feature to have listings, so we go here on the top, you know, we can see listings, is because uh, Teresa, do we have the messaging feature already released by Amanda or not yet? Not, not yet. 
Okay, there you have a teaser messaging coming soon. You're going to be able to message each other, okay? Um, so right now you see all these items. List perfectly is not a marketplace, but we're letting you know where this person has listed, okay, these items. So if this person has it on eBay, this one on eBay, Postmark, Mercari, Grail, et cetera. So you can click these icons and it takes you to that listing. So this is great to search from each other, as you can see, or to bring these listings to help optimize. These are not open to the public. Again, this is just for other resellers to see for our community and then to help each other from sourcing from each other, buying from each other, and then most importantly, uh, help uh, each other grow one another. Yeah, and I think the one of the, I mean, it, at, why do we want to um, post the listing parties? You said it, it helps with SEO search and it does. Um, I like to scroll through there to see what other people are, um, other people are listing, look at their pictures. Like I like to see like, how is somebody taking a picture of a pair of shoes? Ooh, I like the way that looks or I don't, you know, and that kind of stuff. Um, but uh, it does, and, and Clara showed you that list per, listing party is not a sales platform, which is what she said. Yep. But if you want to buy that item, you can click on any one of those platforms underneath and buy it there. So you're going to go to their shopping cart. You're going to go to Poshmark or eBay's checkout and, and pay for it there. And um, the seller is going to get the sales through that platform. But I, you know, I go in there and I'll scroll, scroll through it all the time just to see what's there. And you have search fields, you have filters, you know, whether you're just like, you know, usually like with uh, a uh, marketplace, okay? Yes. But the idea, again, is uh, more to support our community and motivate each other uh, at the same time, because when you're listing in our listing party platform, what's the benefit, Clara? Okay, now comes the best thing ever, okay? I can set goals. And we're going to have analytics. So imagine you're listing to listing party. So all you have to do is one more click from all the platforms you're listing daily. And then you can hold yourself accountable, for example, for, uh, I'm sorry, uh, I can do a new goal, add goal. Okay. I'm going to add a goal. And you can see listing preparation, listing, inventory management, sourcing goals, shipping goals, social goals, business growth goals, personal could be like, I want to drink more water right? Because sourcing, you know, gets intense, right? Or I want to take more breaks when I'm sourcing. I'm, I'm too much on the go. I get too excited. That was typical me. All right. So then you, you set the quantity, 1,000, 100, the due date. All right. And then you can make notes about it. So what I did for myself, I committed myself to do 1,000 listings to for any of you in listing party. I'm gonna start listing again and I'm gonna show you how I listed um, and why my listings and what was my algorithm and my or my technique. And then another thing we have is uh, here to motivate you. We put daily different quotes. The, the secret of getting ahead is getting started. Mark Twain, thank you. Um, that's just something that that's the main reason that you want to cross post to listing party because you want to hold yourself accountable. And at the same time, as you're holding yourself accountable, you're exposing yourself to other better. These are vetted sellers. There is no free plans on list perfectly. These are people that are paying 29, 49 and 69. So they can, they're very serious. They're committed. They are not here to come and steal your, your business uh, trading secrets. Okay. They're, if anything, they're here to help one another. What we want is, um, what would you say, Teresa? It's, it's, it's the support of one another, right? Yeah. It's, it's to support the community, support each other. If somebody, if I, you know, I have, if somebody sees a pair of shoes that I have and maybe they'll reach out to me and say, Hey, you know, I'm interested in those shoes or they'll, they may just go ahead and figure out which platform is going to be better to buy it off of. Yeah. You know, for fees. Hey, she has it on Facebook. Let me ship it on. Let me do it on Facebook. But I yeah. mean, everybody has their, their favorite platform. Um, yeah. It's just, I, I, um, and I, you know, there's, there's no way for me to know if anything I've sold yeah. is a result from that, but I, it's like you said, it's one extra click. So I will update and I will go through and I mean, it's so quick to just do a hundred listings over to listing party. 
Absolutely. That is so true. Can be done in bulk. And uh, just to give you an idea, now it's star price on flipping hippos just left because she's going to go right now with true crime and lease. So you see how here says copy link to party. As soon as the event goes live, you will be able to join the party. Now there is a catch. All right. Please keep in mind we're building this, all right? So if you arrive late to that event, you might not be able to join, all right? So it's time to for you to go to True Crime and listing. Let's watch some creepy, creepy, creepy True Crime shows. Meanwhile, we're listing with one another, supporting one another, and it's the time to give away stuff. Okay, Tiffany, do we have any winners in on top of, hey, okay, so then good day, everyone. Ha, thank you, thank you, Tim. Yes, thank you, everybody. And uh, absolutely. So let's have our winner. Let's see who won. Who won? Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, Kimberly Koala Trading Company. Ah, oh, thank you, thank you. So we're gonna have a winner for the least perfectly, uh, least perfectly membership, and and we you can choose any plan the beauty is that you can be a existing um a customer or a new customer and we will be able to honor that incredible option for you to get that free plan um uh, it's tiffany there tiffany we need you oh i wonder if tiffany's there she is Cheese. All right. We need you. Okay. In the meantime, listing party. Go and create a profile. Okay. Yes. All you have to do is you log in. You don't need to create a new login feature. So you log in with your credential of least perfectly. But what you have to do is create a profile. Are you in the simple plan? You also can get and watch the events. You might not be able to cross post to listing party and source from other sellers, but you can still participate on the events. So that's creating a profile can have as little or as much as you want it to have. And, and uh, uh -huh. the other thing I wanted to declare, because we talked about a little earlier, is that right now to host a listing party, the only requirement is that you must be a referral member. And so if you're a referral member, you'll have that in your profile. And then um, please, I, I we love seeing new people hosting a party. If you if you've been on a party, it's just this. It's just getting friends together. If you have a theme behind it, like Star jumped on the, the true crime thing. And then it turned into a weekly thing and she has a good turnout. Or if you want to just, if you want to just actually just list, I, <laughs> Trish and I will do a, a real listing party where it's just like, okay, let's get together for an hour and see how many listings we can get done. So um, if you're a referral member, please feel free to um, host a listing party and then um, yeah, sign up to host it and we'll get it published and we'll get it listed. And you'll have some, a lot of your uh, uh, colleagues and friends uh -huh. can join you. Teresa, I have a question I think you're going to need with, with Amanda. Can a simple plan member, okay, we know they can cross post to listing party, but can they, if I'm a referral member and I'm on the simple plan, can I host the party? So that would be a good question and wait for it. We're going to reply. Join us in our least perfectly group. And since I, maybe Tiffany, hey, no worries. So I'm going to decide this. I'm doing an exit. Oh, there she is. Okay, there she is. Hey, Diane Lasson. Aww. <laughs> oh, Diane. Okay, let's do Diane. And I'm pretty, I want to do two people today okay because i do want to do this so uh sorting with samantha email tiffany turner so you can go pro mama all right and our winner diane lason okay so we have two winners today sorting with samantha yes you too sorting with samantha email to tiffany okay tiffany at least perfectly.com and uh, you're so welcome you're so welcome and thank you for hosting those incredible parties uh <laughs> I love it. I, I, I. Oh, she sent it like five times. I, I, you know, connections, you know, with stream yard, stream yard. But thank you so much, Teresa. Last word to our incredible audience about listen party. Join one, host one, 
participate in one, just go out and see what all the hype is about because you will, you'll have some laughs. It'll be a break, nice break in your day. You'll get to talk to other resellers. Um, oh, okay. That's awesome, Diane. That's awesome, Diane. There you go. Diane, could you please message Rosie's closet, okay? And then don't worry, she can message me and then we'll guide her or Teresa or anybody. So we'll guide her, okay? I knew you would do that, Diane. We love you, Diane. Diane's amazing. Um, yeah, so just join a party. You can go on any at any time. You can go to listingparty.com. And if you have a profile, click on the events and see what's happening today. I do that. And I'm like, oh, there's a party going on and I'll just pop in. So um, for for Rosie's Closet, um, just email Tiffany at listperfectly.com. That's right. Okay, now, we, just... now we've taken you out of the middleman. See what I did there, Clara? <laughs> <laughs> I love awesome. it. Thank you, Teresa, for making this happen and uh, with such a short notice, but it was the, the audience was too many questions about listing party and uh, I think we can address it way much better in oh, this course. Way much better so thank you for making your time love you and let's make money because e-commerce is big enough for all of us and it's so much fun have fun and have a beautiful weekend bye listen party.